this was my first data cabinet and I was really excited to do the unboxing on this. I didn't even read the bits on the side of the box just to make sure it was the right one. And when I see it, I thought, no, it looks a bit white. It's actually grey, by the way. But I thought, yeah, it looks a bit white. Oh, perhaps it's got like a film on it, you know, and you have to peel it all off. So I carried on doing the unboxing. And guess what? It was grey or light grey. I ordered a black one. Now, I did contact them and said, I've ordered a black one, you sent me a grey one. And I sent the information off to them. They said, oh, yeah, sorry about that. We can offer you a £25 discount if you'd like. And I said, no, thank you. I'd rather have the black one. And so I had to do the unboxing bit again. And guess what? It was the black one. Thank God for that. So these things happen, don't they? Now, I did notice a little bit of damage on one side, and I will show you in a second. And it is the top left-hand corner just above the door. And it's only a tiny little bit. So I decided I wasn't going to waste my time phoning them up or contacting them. I was just going to have it as it is. It's only a little one, and you can hardly see it anyway. I know the camera picks up, but you can hardly see it, so I thought, yeah, I'll have it. The first job of the day was removing the side panels, the door, and the bottom tray. And then install RGB. This is not a brand new RGB. It is one I've already got installed in my room. I've removed it off the actual wall and I thought I'll use that in there. So it's basically second hand. The next job was to install the power supply and I had two of these so I thought yeah where do I put them I have no idea because I've never had one of these cabinets before so uh, let me know in the comments whether I put them in the right place or the wrong place or even if I've got them around the wrong way. Next I wanted to install some fans and it did take me a while to find the right fans that I wanted. I wanted fans that would push enough air through to keep it cool when it was needed. I also wanted them to be fairly quiet and these are Bulbarian fans so they should be pretty quiet and also I wanted a fan or fans that had sensors on them to tell them when to kick in and when to turn off. Say for instance you know the temperature was getting a bit warm and I wanted to cool it down or get some of the heat out. I wanted something that could control the heating and these were perfect and I bought two of them. Link in the video description below.
yes, it is finally finished. And it did take me quite a few weeks because as I was building it, I was ordering parts to go with it as well. So uh, let me quickly show you around. I've got this little app here that helps you to uh, brighten things up. You can even change colours on it as well. So if you want it green or red. And I've got the light actually turned down, all the brightness. It's down really low. So it go really high. Sort of blindingly. But I seem to have it about there. And I normally have it on white just enough so that I can see everything that's going on inside. Now, it's not perfect, don't get me wrong. And I might change these cables yet. These are the three that I've made. Originally, I just made two, and then I've added another one since then. And everything is working fine with no issues. I've installed my NAS, my QNAP NAS. This is my brand spanking new QNAP NAS. And that is running with eight drives in it, believe it or not. So they cost me nearly two grand just for the drives. Yeah, it's a hell of a lot of money. The unit was over £3,000 on its own. So there's over five grand's worth there. It was about five grand. Give or take a hundred pound here or there. And that is working fine. And I've been in there and I've got it all set up. Am I like it? I've even got it to turn itself off at a certain time of night. Now these, I had a bit of trouble finding these, but I managed to find them in the end. It was just a question of trying to get the right sizes. First ones I ordered were too small. They seemed to come up to about there rather than, you know, right over, right up to the actual size of or where the holes are. <coughs> And they're easy to put on and put off. They're just little clips. And they come with spare ones as well. Which I quite like. And I like this. So I could put another one in there if I wanted to. But I'm going to leave it like that for now. The fibre seems to be working fine. The only thing I would like to do is be able to move all this back. But there is problems with the wiring or the actual cabling getting snagged up at the back so at the moment i can't move it any further back so i would like to to stop this getting crushed up if that makes sense and like i said everything's working fine she is running flat out i am getting really good speeds on my network thanks to this and so far i'm very happy with it now if you have a look at the temperature it's on 33 we've just gone down to 32 33 32 it does get warm in there it's very warm and because I installed them fans, they seem to be working fine. So when it gets up to about 36, the fans will kick in and extract the heat. And yeah, very pleased. Even pleased with this little box that I fitted on the side here for uh, converting my Ethernet cable into a fibre cable. And that works brilliantly because this has 10 gigabit, but it's Ethernet, not fibre. Would have been nice to have the choice or been able to change it to one or the other just by changing the card but it is what it is noise it is a little bit noisy have a listen and that is purely down to all the fans that are running whether it's fans in here or fans in the actual switch itself it's not interfering with my video so i'm pleased with that very pleased with it let me know in the comments what you think and also I fitted some draft excluders on the side panel to stop them rattling because I was a little bit on the rattly side and I thought, oh, can't have that. I had to get really thin ones, otherwise I couldn't actually shut the side panels. So if you're thinking about doing that, make sure that the actual draft excluder is extremely thin just to make sure they don't rattle. And that works really well. The main door is fine. It doesn't seem to rattle. I think it's because... I have these pushing on the actual glass or plastic. But yeah, very pleased. I have played about with it. I've moved some of the actual units up or down just to get them in the right place for me. And also, even the things on the back, I've actually moved about as well. And also done a bit more cable management. And I found it very easy to actually work on because, because the side panels come off and the front door comes off, it makes it very easy to work on. And also, even when I was doing the actual cabling on the actual patch panel, all I had to do was take the switch off. Now, that could be an issue for someone, say, who's running a business, because obviously your network's going to be down because you're taking the switch out. For me personally, it's not an issue. Now, I could have put the actual patch panel on top of the actual switch rather than underneath, and that would have made it easier for me to carry on working on. But I didn't want it ran that way. I wanted it ran the way I've got it at the moment. 
and let me know in the comments whether you agree or disagree with me the way I've done it. So um, with that, I would really like to know what you actually think, whether you think it's uh, worth it, not worth it, you like it, you don't like it. You know, I would really like to know. And also let me know what you think about the RGB lighting. Yes, it wasn't brand new, it was second hand, it was up on my wall up there somewhere and it ran all the way along just above the windows and uh, yeah, it works on that, brilliant. But it is quite old, so I might actually change it one day. Let me know whether you think I should change it one day or even change it now. I've got plenty of time. So uh, with that, if you like this video, you know what to do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications and make a comment. Thank you very much for watching.